the human brain, neurons form a complex network and perform sophisticated information processing. Neurons exchange information using signals called spikes. An information processing model that uses spike signals is called a spiking neural network, SNN. The SNN has been attracting attention in recent years as a tool for analyzing brain functions and for application to artificial intelligence. NTT Basic Research Laboratories Here you can see an optical fiber ring and many optical devices. These make up a photonic spiking neural network, photonic SNN. This device can simulate the behavior of neurons using optical oscillators. This photonic SNN consists of a one kilometer long optical fiber ring, a phase sensitive amplifier, PSA, and a measurement and feedback system. Many light pulses orbit through this optical fiber ring. When a pump light is input to the PSA, the light pulses are amplified and begin to oscillate. Soon, the light pulses become optical oscillators, called Degenerate Optical Parametric Oscillators, DOPOs. Let's call these two optical oscillators, V and W, and regard them as forming a photonic spiking neuron. Interactions with opposing signs are set between V and W to transfer energy. These interactions simulate the spike signals of a neuron in the brain. In this system, we can generate a lot of spiking neurons by setting appropriate interactions in the measurement and feedback system, we can implement a neural network with any structure we want. Photonic spiking neurons behave differently depending on the intensity of the pump light. If the pump light is strong, the spiking cycle changes continuously in response to an external input. This is a spiking mode called Class 1. On the other hand, if the pump light is weak, the cycle changes discreetly. This is a spiking mode called Class 2. This photonic SNN can represent these two types of spiking modes. Here, we create four groups in each of which 15 photonic spiking neurons are connected. The photonic spiking neurons at the same position in different groups are connected to each other. In this network, we observed the timing of the spiking that occurred. These are the experimental results. The neurons in each group were synchronized in a short time. We observed that the timing of the spiking gradually became synchronized between the different groups. Furthermore, a detailed analysis of the spiking mode in each group revealed an interesting phenomenon. The group that was desynchronized with the other groups was trying to synchronize with them flexibly by switching between the two spiking modes. This was not instructed by any external command. The group switched its spiking modes on its own. In this way, the photonic SNN had a very unique property in that it switches its spiking modes depending on the surrounding conditions. The human brain processes information using neurons that have various spiking modes. Our research results will provide a clue as to why there are multiple spiking modes.
Our laboratories will continue research to achieve neuromorphic computing using photonic SNNs.